people start working on on the really important problems. Um, you know, the, the 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 problems that have you know real global impact, real human impact. I think getting more of the, the smartest people in the world to, to focus on solving these kind of big global challenges as opposed to, uh, you know, making the next Instagram, the next Twitter. One very interesting area for me personally is kind of um, the, 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 the nexus of, of uh, energy and water and food and health. I think a lot of these are, are very um, interconnected. Uh, and it's just an area that I personally think is, is really interesting. There's a lot of exciting opportunities there. I've got a lot of visions. Right, right now, uh, we're, we're looking at uh, really revolutionizing um, infrastructure for all of the you know, developing world markets, uh, rural areas, places that uh, don't have the infrastructure that we kind of take for granted here in, in Germany or in the U.S., um, both in terms of uh, access to energy, access to cheap energy, ideally clean energy, uh, access to communication networks, access to the internet. So we're trying to uh, make it a lot less expensive and a lot quicker to build out the infrastructure in those places. So the idea behind uh, the airborne wind turbine that we're developing is to, 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 to take to leverage all of the, the work over the last you know, few uh, decades that has gone to, to make wind turbines the very efficient, very mature technology they are. So we take that and we combine it with uh, this aerostat technology. Um, so we're taking kind of two proven technologies, bringing them together, which opens up a whole new uh, possibility by, in order to harness the, the winds above what you can reach with a tower. The reason that we're interested in high altitude winds is because as you move up off the ground, uh, winds actually become much faster and much, much more powerful. And you kind of get a, a sense of this if you, if you go and fly a kite, you know that the higher you get it up there, the stronger the winds, the, the easier it is to, to keep aloft. Um, that's, that's also the same reason that wind turbines are getting bigger and bigger today and, and they're putting them on taller and taller towers. It's to try to reach those strong, consistent winds. Um, so we decided, well, let's just, uh, let's get rid of the tower, let's get rid of that foundation, let's kind of skip this incremental uh, increase in height and just go all the way up there. We basically developed a, a tethered autonomous uh, airborne platform. So think of the blimps or the zeppelins that you see flying above, uh, above sports games. Um, we take that same basic technology. Uh, we, we use kind of the industrial cousin of the blimps you're used to seeing. They're called aerostats. Um, and aerostats are essentially tethered balloons or tethered blimps. They've been used for really for decades um, in a military setting to lift radar and other kind of surveillance and communications equipment. Um, so what we've done is, is we've taken that basic technology and we've actually created a, an autopilot or we've automated all the operations. So these systems can launch, they can land, they can fly without having to have any people there, anyone um, kind of in the loop controlling it. There's certainly a lot of um, a lot of automation, which, which is a form of, of, of artificial intelligence. And that automation allows the system to kind of take all of the, the inputs from all of the sensors on board. It allows it to uh, communicate to some of the local and regional weather stations in it. And it, uh, it runs through uh, a number of algorithms to decide how to operate, whether it should launch, whether it should land, you know, where to, where to, to fly, what altitude to fly at. We generate electricity aloft. Uh, um, just like any other wind turbine. We actually send that uh, electricity, that power down to the ground uh, via one of our tethers that has a conductive cable in embedded into the tether. Um, and, you know, at the end of the day, we're, we're just another generator. We're making systems that aren't really consumer facing. They're, they're pretty big industrial equipment, so we're very much a, a B2B business. Um, and our customers tend to be, you know, large utilities or industrial corporations. In 10 years, um, you know, we'll, we'll hopefully have been wildly successful at, at deploying flying wind turbines all over the world and, and uh, uh, helping to build out the communication infrastructure that'll bring the 3 billion people that don't have access to the internet online. Um, and I think that, you know, my vision for Alteros is that this is just the start and that we continue to, to drive for innovative solutions to 
um, really to, to, to whatever the, the most pressing problems in, in 10 years are.